All right, sounds All right, good. good. All right, sir, welcome to Security Guard Radio. What's your name? Uh, my name is Chris Pogue. I'm the Chief Information Security Officer at uh, Nuix. And we're here at Black Hat 2016. We are. Tell us what Nuix does. Uh, Nuix is a software company, uh, predominantly that does uh, e-discovery software, investigation software, um, and now sort of the natural progression has been into the cybersecurity world. Um, because we have such a powerful engine, can ingest lots of data types, um, so that kind of positions us perfectly to um, be able to take in the, that corpus of information, make sense out of it, and help people detect uh, excuse me, deflect, detect, react, respond, recover faster. Now, you are producing a product to protect people, but your job inside the company is to be the protector of the company itself. I am. And what kind of challenges does your company have at that level? Because <laughs> we're assuming that the companies that make the stuff to protect other companies don't have any problems, but right. of course, you do. Yeah. And even yeah. security guards have so got than hacked. Others, probably. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So, uh, just a little bit of my background and why I fit into that role as the CISO is prior to becoming the Chief Information Security Officer, I've been a practitioner. I've been a forensics investigator for 17 years. Oh, cool. The U.S. Army, uh, IBM Trustwave, and now it's uh, Keep your mic up Nuix. a little bit Sorry. like that. Okay, good. Uh, and now with Nuix. Okay. And so, understanding how organizations get breached, what sort of the uh, post mortem effects of that are, both from a legal perspective uh, as well as just the impact on the organization, kind of positioned me well to, to fit into that role. Well, this is unique to Nuix because I, everybody I've met so far are investigator backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And I always, when I was at Fox and Disney for 10 years, I was the cop on the beat, right, physical security, but I know a lot about computers. Mm -hmm. But when I worked with the IT guys, it was an uncomfortable relationship because I'd say, I gotta put this guy in jail, help me out. Yeah. Well, we don't do that. We just give you ones and zeros, right? Right. And knowing what probable cause is, knowing how to put the case together is just as critical as getting all the data. Right. Right. And so I think Nuix's approach is very unique that I've seen in the business mm -hmm. since you have this, the background from all those sort of people. Right. So what are your internal challenges that you're, you, that you're protecting? You know, are people trying to take your server right. down and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, sort of the same stuff. We, yeah. So I also run the professional services arm. All right. So I've got all the pen testers, investigators, malware reversers. So we get to see firsthand in the field what's going on. Yeah. Take that information, not only extrapolate the intelligent pieces, build it into the software, but also use it in our own organization. Right. So we have the same challenges every organization has. Yeah. Blocking and tackling, IT hygiene, you know, proper utilization of, of security countermeasures, right? We see so many times people spend money and think, I've done the right thing, right? I've spent money on this thing. That's right. That's but you right. haven't developed have. the, pro the process or the people yes. to implement it. And and so it's it's a lot of it in this kind of litigation happy cyber world right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's get you know breached, get sued, and then you have to establish the defensible position of reasonableness. Uh, and so how do you establish that? And throwing money at, at solutions isn't going to give you that anymore. No. Right? Well, you have to have the bits and pieces but behind the, that. Are you finding that the decision makers at the C level are buying more into this? Uh, from a concept point of view, or, and I'm not talking about interning your company, but when you're going out selling, right. or are they just throwing the money at it to their subordinates saying, here's some money, go fix it? Right, it's a, it's kind of a slow, kind of a slow bell curve, right? We've been doing this 20 years, and right. it's, the conversation's really no different oh, than it was 20 years ago. Okay. Um, what, what has changed, though, is the, is the, is the legal landscape. Organizations getting sued, held accountable by the FCC, FTC, SEC. Um, that has really changed the game in the SE, or, uh, in the executive boardroom and in right. the board of directors. And so the same conversation is now being listened to. So I'm no longer the lone prophet in the desert saying, "Thou shalt repent." Now actually, people are listening, and they're going, "Well, how do we actually do that? How do we employ information governance? How do we employ uh, IT hygiene? How do we make our executives smarter?" so that we can quantify our risk, so we understand our risk appetite, we know what's gonna land us in jail, we know what's gonna get us sued, we know what's gonna lose us business and what's gonna lose us face, and then we can apply countermeasures to match whatever that risk profile is. So we can actually stack rank those and have uh, good conversations instead of just risk, 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 money, money, money. So I'm 55 and some of my counterparts are executives in security business, some are C-level guys, right? Hmm. Uh, some are chiefs and police departments. And our, my generation missed the computer. Uh, there's a computer <laughs> gap, right? right? I happen to have a computer in 84 when there are two floppy drives. All my buddies, what's a computer? That's a stupid thing to have, right? Yeah. Uh, I, my guess is that that level of people are hesitant on decision making because they miss the technology. Right. Whereas my kids get it, and by the way, people older than me get it because mm -hmm. they invented it right. in the 70s, right? Mm -hmm. or, or 50s, 60s, 70s. Are you finding that this is what's going on maybe, that sometimes the, these initiatives are, are slow to, to come out of the barn because right. it's just decision makers aren't grabbing it. They know yeah. they got to do it, but uh, how and all that kind right. of stuff. 
Yeah, there is a, I mean, there's a definite generational gap. Yeah. And and where we've seen success with clients in, in, in making those connection points is showing the nexus from the cyber world to the physical world. Yeah. Right? And so there's been great news articles lately that have really helped us. You know, last week when the gentleman from uh, the um, St. Louis Cardinals went to jail for uh, intrusions into the Houston Astros. Right now we can show, look, do bad, go to jail. Sure. Or with organizations that get sued, you know, protracted litigation, sometimes five, six, seven years. Okay. Um, and then the oh. damage to their brand right. is, we can put dollar amounts on that now. That's what they or the opportunity exactly. cost. Yeah. Tell us from a tech perspective, what separates Nuix's software from other companies that are in the same realm? Yeah, that's a great question, because we just walked from our booth here, and we're right. passing booth after booth of someone doing pretty the same competitive sort of stuff. space. It yeah. is. Um, and so what I think is there's a lot of people building car parts and Nuix is building a car. Oh, so that's a good way to put it. Organizations are doing bits and pieces of what we do. I mean, you mean like over, pen testing or VAs, things like that. Right. Like that's where their focus is. You're exactly. doing the whole thing. Or their software will ingest log files right. or they'll take in, you know, forensic images or they're good with, um, you know, threat intelligence. Nuix does all of those things. Um, and so it kind of becomes the one-stop shop. And what enables us to do that is the 10 years history we have as an e-discovery firm sure. that had to take in all these different file types, make sense out of them, normalize them, allow them to be searchable so that um, organizations could proceed with, with you know, litigation. Yeah, that's the difference. That's just, it's, it's a huge so are difference. organizations coming to you and taking your software and implementing it into robust cybersecurity systems they have, or mm -hmm. are they using your software um, and your team to kind of develop their own hygiene and their own protocols? It's both. Okay. Right. Organizations that have that level of maturity yeah. are, are using us as part of their model. Organizations that aren't mature are using us to build that maturation process as a service. from where do we go from here to, okay, now we can be self-sustaining. Um, and then the other piece of that is we have a field operations team. Right? And as far as I know, we're one of the only security firms that do that, maybe a handful of others, because right, right. we can take field intelligence, uh, because organizations that say, oh, we rely on intel from our customers, right? that doesn't work. There's NDAs, right. there's lawsuits, right. can't be discussed, yeah. uh, You know, investigations can't be discussed, intelligence agencies, classification can't be discussed, whereas we can take our data that we get from penetration testing, malware reversing, uh, forensics engagements, IR engagements, we can anonymize it, we can normalize it, we can pump it into the tool, and now all of our users Get the are aware of, of it. Yeah. Right? And so a bank in you know, Bali somewhere can suddenly be protected from a bank, uh, a piece of malware that we found in a bank in Denver, for sure. example. Sure. Very and so we're Very enabling the whole world versus just one yeah. customer at a time. Website again? www.nukes.com. Spell it for my nieces and nephews. Uh, N as in November, U as in uniform, I as in India, X as in X-ray. That's Me? the military coming out. I love it. 13 uh, ex-military myself. Man. Are you? Yeah. I was Zulu Fox Trot X-ray. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Just a policeman. Kind of like service, but not exactly. Hey, it's the same. We're all fighting the same fight. <laughs> That's right. right. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on Security Guard Radio. Fascinating conversation. And my good pleasure. Luck to Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Appreciate you it. Man. Thanks, Ted. All right. Yeah, you guys are really cool.